What's up guys, it's Tony from Lomo Paintball and today we're gonna be taking a quick look at the infamous Diamond Skull CS3. And why? Because who's the best source for Diamond Skull CS3s? That would be LomoPaintball.com, of course. Uh, we're gonna do a quick unboxing with this bad boy, kind of show you what it looks like. I know a very, very limited run of these things were made, so let's take a peek and see what's inside. So Planet Eclipse always coming with the hardcore cases, keeping those very expensive markers protected. Uh, speaking of price point, uh, this one is just over 2000 bucks. So infamous Diamond Skull CS3. Let's take a peek inside. Yeah, there was a very limited run. It took, um, you know, Travis and Infamous collaboration with Planet Eclipse just over a year to make this happen with production and making some modifications to what they wanted to see uh, on their marker. So I'm gonna flip that in. Boom, so the coming with stock with the S63 barrel system. So you've got the back with a uh, 689 power insert there. And then you've got, should be a, a blue power 685 insert also included. So two inserts, barrel back, and then the barrel tip. This one, it looks like we're gonna be unboxing the pier today. So I think we only have one or two of these available. So it's gonna be pier. Uh, you've got the brand new barrel cover in packaging. You've got a tube of the Planet Eclipse grease that's gonna be needed for maintenance down the road, lube up the O-rings, lube up that OP core system. Uh, and then a full CS3 spare baggies, parts kits, springs and detents and screws and O-rings and everything you need to rebuild this sucker over and over and over again. <sighs> a lot of stuff in there. So Planet Eclipse has always been great with that. And then you've got an owner's manual. But Trav, come on, Trav. Where's your certificate of authenticity? And my trading card. Yeah. Well, oh, just, hey, just, hey, I got you a trading card. Oh. It's Alex Martinez when he was shooting Eclipse. Immortal Legends, Alex Martinez. Oh. He so it does have a trading card. Does, it's not Travis's card, no. So, hmm, what are you going to do? All right, on to the goods. Uh, you've got the, the green hex key set there for the maintenance and all that good stuff. Don't worry, those are durable. It'll be just fine. So you got that. And then on to the actual goods here. This is where the magic and the beauty happens, Mark. See the skull in the back? I do. You see the beautiful diamond cuts all up and down, and they even went over top of the marker as well. So the Diamond Skull CS3, uh, these guns are operating sub 100 PSI, so under 100 PSI operating pressure. Uh, it's got the OP core drivetrain in there, simple up and out. So it's gonna have less wear and tear on the uh, internal components and it's gonna make your air fill last a lot longer out there on the field. So any marker that is operating under 100 PSI is pretty darn efficient. And they've done a lot of changes to that, uh, the OP core drive system, which I really, really like compared to the Gamma. Um, similar, but definitely more air efficient for sure. You have no idea how relieved I am. Cause when you said a diamond skull, I pictured the skull looking like it was bedazzled or something with the right. middle. Well, that's the diamond cuts that are all up and down and even over the top there. And then you've got the infamous skull that sits just in front of that low rise feed neck. So they've got their skull engraved on the front. You've got that blade trigger um, that is also a five point positioning blade trigger. So you guys can really kind of jump on in there and modify it to your own personal liking and preference with five different adjustable points. Some people like it a little bit longer. Some people like it right on top of that micro switch. So it really all depends on you. I mean, we've done full videos on this, but this sucker um, the batteries up front, we've actually had customers that bought standard CS3s have asked, hey, I can't find there's no battery. This is where all the board communications are here in the grip. You got that MME board in here, but it operates on two AA batteries. So they're in the front grip, completely toolless. It just slides on off for you guys. Um, so if you guys didn't know, now you know, that's, that's where the batteries in the CS3 are located in the, in the front grip, the removable toolless uh, detents. So very, very nice. Um, other than that though, it's just a standard CS3, other than the extra milling and, and the time and effort they put into making this gun happen. Mark, would, would you like to take this one outside too and shoot it or no? What do you I would to? love to see this beautiful marker shoot. All right, well, I will uh, catch you guys outside. If you guys wanna know any more about it, go check out our other full previous CS3 video on 
all the trinkets and how everything operates. We've done those videos before. But other than that, let's take this thing outside and shoot it. And check the website because I guess there's other colors, you said? Yeah, yeah. Ooh. Check them out. I like colors. Ooh, we'll see you guys outside. As promised, again, we are outside. Infamous Diamond Skull CS3, baby. Let's see this bad boy rip. So pretty. Even in the winter time, it didn't break a ball. Check them out on the website, Diamond Skull CS3 here at LoneWolfPaintball.com. See ya.